Let's see if I look like a little garden gnome if I do this. No, we're good? Cool. Welcome back. Today, all I wanted to do was this cute look with just like a brown smoky eye, very subtle, very cute. You can wear it grocery shopping, on a date, to the mall, on vacay. You can wear this anywhere, okay? It looks so good. A little natural beat on the face. A little Fenty on the lips. You know, give you a little confidence, whatever. So if you wanna see this and my crazy personality, keep watching. So I'm just gonna prep my face. I'm not into primer right now. This is the Morphe setting spray. So just do a little of that. Let it dry. So for a foundation, this is my new little jam. We're gonna mix the Armani Luminous Silk with the Tom Ford Foundation Stick. Both of these are actually in 6.5. So mix them. I'm gonna just take the foundation stick and swipe all over. Look like McDonald's arches on my forehead, that's cute. Swipe her all around. Take the Armani Luminous Silk Smashbox Powder Brush. We're gonna put a few pumps. I just did two. We'll see how far that gets us. So I just go over it and I just swirl it in a circular motion. This like gives you such a full coverage but dewy look. And it looks like your skin. It just blends out the stick really nice. If you're in a hurry or you just wanna you know, something quick to throw in your bag. Use the Tom Ford stick and you can even blend that out with your fingers. Honestly, it's unreal how good it looks. So obviously, I'm just starting my channel. My background in makeup, I didn't just learn from YouTube like all you hoes. <laughs> just kidding. I actually went to makeup school. I used to do um, freelance makeup. And a lot of makeup in like you know, retail stores, like managing makeup counters, and I worked for a lot of different brands. It'd be nice if I could not get played right now. Really? Okay, great. With that being said, I feel like on YouTube, number one, sometimes I feel like it's just so oversaturated with like beauty gurus or whatever people call it these days. Most people are just kind of like self-taught or whatever right like learn from YouTube or just did their own makeup so like most people you watch by the way this is a MAC Pro Longer Concealer and my Morphe little sponge a lot of people um, on YouTube that are beauty people just they're big for doing their own makeup which like that's cool you know but they don't necessarily like know how to do other people's makeup when they're teaching like what to do as far as like how to do your makeup they're just teaching it you know like on themselves on how you would do your own makeup not necessarily this is the proper way to do makeup on somebody else or if you want to be a makeup artist for other people not just like for yourself because that's not a makeup artist by the way um you know you would want to like learn the proper ways and like learn all the rules about how to keep things sanitary in your kit like what to keep in your kit you know different things like that so i feel like half of me wants to do like you know back to the basics like this is how you properly would do this or do that and then half of me is like i feel like no one cares like for me, I watch a lot of makeup people on YouTube, but I'd rather watch people's vlogs that I like rather than a makeup tutorial. Or like there's only certain specific people that I love the way they do their makeup and it inspires me. So then I watch them. But to be honest, it's like nowadays, it's 2019. So everyone watches YouTube. Everyone watches makeup videos. Everyone is... A guru everyone's a makeup artist right so I kind of feel like 
why make makeup videos where it's like this is how you put on foundation this is how you put on concealer this is how you blend this this is how you put on eyeshadow like i feel like we're at a point where people know i'm i feel like it's so oversaturated with people that are like i'm gonna be a makeup artist and teach you how to do this and they honestly don't know what the hell they're doing their makeup looks crazy they look crazy they get rich they get surgery and then the cycle continues so i'm gonna do some charlotte tilbury this is the highlight wand in spotlight i'm just gonna do a little bit let me know if you like seeing informational makeup videos where someone's teaching you and explaining as they do it like all the things they're doing to their face or do you like to just watch someone do their makeup and listen to them talk about other things this is by the way the charlotte tilbury contour wand in medium dark i just want to make videos that are so fun and videos that i enjoy obviously makeup is my passion and I've done makeup my whole life and it's what I love and it's what I get super excited about. But like there's so many important things to me in life that goes beyond makeup. And I feel like there's so many issues that women deal with that need to be talked about. And my energy is so open. Like in general, I'm just such an open person. I think I overshare with everything in life, which is fine by me because I just feel like it's how you connect to people. Like if you wanna be secretive and just, you know, sit back, absorb info, do you, that's cute too. Um, but me, I just, I don't know, I just have really open energy. I just like meeting new people, talking to people. Um, I like to hear other people's experiences and knowledge and things they can share. And it's like, even if you don't 1000% agree, um, you can learn something from everybody and if you don't agree with it, it might spark something in you to inspire you to do something or change something. I feel like life is so short and I've been struggling with certain things maybe like the past three years or so and I don't have it all figured out yet. I don't think any of us figure it out. Maybe when you're old. I definitely want to share what I learned and how I feel and just like how to improve, you know? I'm setting my under eyes with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. This is N4, my favorite under eye powder. This is more of like a pink tone. It really brightens up the under eye. If you like a medium skin tone, this is so good. And you can also use it just to stamp here and here. I just love this powder, obviously. I put enough on for all of us. There's like a million videos that I want to do, but I feel like I feel like you have to master it before you make a video on it, right? This is the Hourglass Veil powder. I'm gonna set my whole face with this before I do a little baking under the eyes. I'm always torn, like I can always see both sides of everything and argue both sides, but I feel like half of me is like, okay, we're never gonna know the answer to everything and have things like figured out. So why should I wait to make a video about something if I feel like I'm not to a certain point? But then the other half of me is like, you kinda have to, like be an example don't you think like if i want to do a video about health and weight loss right but i'm still struggling with those things what would i look like making a video like hey guys welcome to my channel you have to do this 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 and that to be healthy and you need to do this this and that to lose weight but guess what bitch i still have to lose 20 pounds and i still have health issues you are like, I'm not listening to you. What, what is this video? You just click out of the video. You know what I mean? That happens to me. I sometimes watch people on YouTube and I'm like, what are you talking about? And I just like click out of the video. <laughs> I'm going to use this Ben Nye powder. This is in Cameo. It's like a light, fair color with a slight pink tint. I'm going to use this to bake under my eyes with this cute mini alcone. Can you see? A little mini puff. I'm so dry, so I'm not baking long. When you wipe off your bake, 
take the studio fix get a little bit on there and wipe it away let's do some bronzer this is mac give me sun it's the one i've been using all the time recently it's a mineral baked one I love the Smashbox slanted brush for my blush and my bronzer. And then warm up here a little bit. So I got a facial. And so I've been using for my melasma, like retinol and this hydroquinone, like all these products. They're so intense and so crazy. And I've been using them at night and then a different one in the day. And then like I peel instantly, but it made my skin so sensitive and I got a facial and in the facial she always starts with the peel. So then I got like chemical burns all here and like here, here. And then like for some reason I have like these like raised bumps here and like I think one here. So I'm waiting for that to go away. Let's go in with this. This is the Cheek Leaders. I like using this for the hula on the nose, just for my nose contour. I just use a tiny bit, just start at my brow and I go straight down. This is the Victoria Beckham for Estee Lauder. It was a limited edition highlight. I try to use this sparingly. It's called Modern Mercury because I didn't want it to run out. But I like that it's a little more gold for my blush. Charlotte Tilbury in Ecstasy. My Smashbox Slanted Brush. I do the highlighter first before the blush because then it really blends and it looks natural. It looks like it's coming from the inside. I love this color so much. Now I'm gonna take the Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade two and my Morphe sponge. And I'm just gonna clean up under the blush and the contour. I like to use this powder instead of a translucent because I hate when it looks so light under there. Like the point of it is to clean it up, not to like, you know, highlight under your cheek. I take my under eye setting brush and I just wipe it away. Also, if you feel like you don't like the line so snatched and harsh, see how this side you can still tough from the side. It's like a little light. You can just take your blush brush, bronzer brush, and just kind of like diffuse it. I'm gonna set with the Lila B setting spray. Love her. She's expensive, but we love that for her. It makes you look dewy. Set your makeup. You don't see any of the powders anymore. It all sinks in. It makes everything cohesive. And then the sprayer on it, it's so powerful, but it like mists. It feels like it's misting my whole face in like one shot. Anastasia, soft brown. I love the brush. Brush up first. I do this the whole time. That's so bad, I'm gonna get forehead lines. I always hear everyone talk about Botox like it's nothing, like it's just like drinking water or something. And I'm like so scared of that. Like I know it's preventative and I'm 31 now. So I'm like, um, do I need that? Because I want to stay cute and young and like I make the ugliest faces. My husband always says like I frown like this, like Meh. like I mug people. So then I have these little, Meh. they're not permanent, but like while I'm doing it, it's wrinkling. But then I always wonder like if you're, if you get Botox, right? And then you're trying to like frown at someone 
Is it like you can't frown at them anymore? Or like what happens to your face? That's just what I want to know. Like, will I be able to do this, like, mug people? Or will I be like, and nothing happens? Like, I don't want the wrinkle, but I still want to give people an attitude. This eyebrow's, like, always thicker than this one. But sometimes if I make this one look thicker, it just looks like a little Oscar the Grouch. Like, a little monster. Like, I don't, I don't like it. But then, like, I love how this one looks individually. Like, she's snatched. She's thick, but not too thick. And then her, it's like... She had a few reasons she shouldn't have. She's like hella thick, but she's still snatched and got an arch. Like, I feel like this is me currently in life right now. And then this is like my goal. Like, this is how I want to be. You get me? I get me. So, that's all that matters. Favorite palette. Favorite. This is my favorite so much. This Friend Cation palette from Dose. I love Dose of Colors so much. This is the best transitional shade. It, it's way darker on the eyes, but this has all your neutrals. Then you can add these pops of like cranberry. You can add a little glitter, a green, a blue, and a black. Okay, this isn't navy, it's black. It has like some glitter. But it just has everything you need. So when I travel, that's the only palette I take. I'm going to take this transition shade here. I always start with that one because it's just the best. And then I build from there. I'm just doing a little on the crease. I did a look similar to this when we went to the Bay and saw Beyonce at the Levi Stadium back home. I wanted to go to the Rose Bowl and then we didn't go and then we ended up going back home at the Niner Stadium and honestly it was like way better than it ever could have been in LA in my opinion just because we were like back home. But this eyeshadow I'm telling you any look you want to do, you want to do natural, you want to do soft, you want to do a smoky eye, you want to do black, you want to do blue, you want to do green, you want to do maroon, like, ugh, it's so good. I love it. And I love the packaging. Anything extra, glitter, cute, neutral vibes, I'm here for it. So next, we're going to go on with the second darkest brown, which is this one. It has like a little orange tone to it, but it doesn't show up as that. It's just like, kind of like a more medium brown. So I'm going to do that a little lower than what I did this one. And then on the outsides, I kind of do like a little circle motion. You just want it really blended. I'm going to take this darkest shade here. And what I'm going to do is focus this on the lid and then bring her out a little bit. If I could not go blind, that would be perfect. So what I want to do is go sideways like this because I want this dark color to be blended up into my crease. So I like to start in the middle and pack it on and just like pull out first this way. Then once there's less product, I'll just lightly tap because I don't want the inner corner to be too dark so it'll make my eye look small. And then at the end, I'm going to turn it like this as if you were doing liner and just tap it just so the shape becomes more like out like this. You see? And then I can connect to the crease. I love this palette. Like they need to come up with another palette like this. Her individual shadows, what are they called? The block party? Those are so good. Her glosses, those of colors is what I'm speaking about. Her glosses are my favorite. The black gel liner, my favorite. She has some good brushes. Those of colors is bomb. And how dope that it's owned by a makeup artist, it's owned by a female, it's owned by a mom, a wife, like, so good. Goals, everything goals, right? Like, what a dream to have a collab with him. And, like, imagine having your collab and coming out with this bomb eyeshadow palette. Like, what? Life. So I'm starting with this lightest color here. Just get a little on the brush. I like to focus it in the outer corner, especially for a look like this. But you want to do it on the bottom to pull it all together. 
take the lightest one and I just like to go a little low, like kind of like where you could feel the bottom of your eyeball. And just really go back and forth and blend it out. And then also like it hides if you have any little under eye creases. So I'm taking the second darkest shade onto this. And I'm just drawing like as if you would draw your eyeliner. It's called like a drop shadow. Just on the outer part because I don't want it to be too much on the inside. Then once I do that, I take that same brush and just go over it. It's like you want it to be more defined, but you also don't want to see the edges. Let's do the Kat Von D. This is her tattoo liner and trooper. Let's just do a little bit. Like, I'm going to do it thin right to the lash line. Okay, now we're going to do the other eye. I feel like putting on eyeliner is one of the most stressful things in life because you want it to be even on both sides. And like, I'm so OCD. If they don't match, then I get so pissed off. With lash extensions too, it's so hard because mine are like longer and more curly. So they kind of like are in the way. Especially on the end, they flare up. We need to do our bottom mascara. This is the MAC Extended Play Lash. Focus most of it here on this end. And then go inside so then your eyes don't look small. You could really like wiggle the wand and pull down. Make them longer. I literally do like the smallest amount. What did I say I wanted to do? Oh, I wanted to do inner corner highlight. Let's do this called cookie. I'm just using like a little pencil brush. And the thing is, you don't want it so intense because the whole eye is like matte. But we kind of wanted to like be cohesive with our face because we did a little shine, a little highlight on the nose and on the cheek like you just want your whole look to go together you know and then like also this will make your eyes look a little bigger let's spray our face morphe setting spray i like a lot because why not let's just waste the products that we spend so much money on um this is called total taupe So I'm making it thicker on the edges. We're using Fenty called Unbutton. I'm obsessed with these. Every color is bomb. The applicator bomb, packaging bomb. It lasts bomb, it's not too dry. Everything about it's bomb. 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 It goes on so easy and looks so good. This is my favorite gloss. My sister got me addicted to this. Like, I'm talking years ago, okay? I don't even know how long she's been using this. It's called Banana. It's from Stila. It's their lip glaze. I hope that they never stop making this. If they have stopped making it, I'm going to cry. It's the best nude of your life. It's like a nice nude pink with the applicator. It's so fun. I'm just doing that in the center. So we're done. Do you love it? I do. You better like it too, okay? Cute. 
See you next time. Or whatever. <laughs>